Hello and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, here in Ultimus' castle. Uh, I'm not running around because I've taken off Encounter None. I've done a couple last minute changes. I have taken off Encounter None for med data. Uh, Ribbon would also be a good choice. Initiative would also not be a terrible choice. And Spirit Boosting would be a good choice. Because my... My spirit stat leaves something to be desired. It must be, be, I must admit. Squall, I've swapped out Move Fine for more HP. And Renoa, I've swapped out... Whatever the heck was here. What did I have here? Luck Cover? Yeah, I put Luck here instead. And I gave her Magic Command instead of GFs. It... Ideally, had I managed my GFs a little bit better, it would be good to be able to cast Cerberus in this battle coming up. So, specifically so that Renoa could then triple cast magic. But, since I didn't do that, it's really important that she can draw, and it's fairly important that she can use items. And the reason- I, the drawing is gonna be- is- pretty self-explanatory, and the items are going to be... it's going to be pretty clear once we get in. So, without further ado, let us invade Altamesia's... get it over with, fight her now. Altamesia's innermost chamber. Seed! 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 Curse all seeds! Swarming like locusts across generations, you disgust me! The world was on the brink of that ever-elusive time compression. Insolent fools! Your vain crusade ends here, seeds. The price for meddling is death beyond death. I shall send you to a dimension beyond your imagining. There I will reign, and you will be my slaves for eternity! Shall I exterminate first? So just quick pointing out, in addition to having huge horns and claws, she also literally has wings. Just to sort of throw it in with the time. With with the uh, monster sorceress thing I was talking about before. So, first thing first, you will notice pretty immediately. Uh I have Renoa, Zell, and Selfie. You get randomized your party in this fight. But it's kind of okay. Uh, they, they'll take care of themselves. <laughs> In a matter of speaking. <laughs> hmm. Not really a lot I can do with this, is there? Uh, hmm. That appears to have been... We're just gonna throw a high potion on there. That appears to have been a uh, percentage-based attack. And Selfie is gone. So, remember when I said that I wanted items on Renoa? Well, uh, there's a lot of good items here that we're gonna break out. Starting, of course, with Flare. 
I have 40 Flare Stones, so that means I can cast Flare 40 times without breaking into my actual stock. Uh, but... Here's the thing. Absorb into time. And of course it's Quistus. Of course it's Quistus. So, our party members are randomized, but if we allow someone to stay dead for too long, they will be absorbed into time. At which point they're gone for good. So, you are actually heavily incentivized to keep spread your GFs throughout your whole party in this place, and uh, try to keep them alive as best you can. Or, you can do what I'm doing, and not do that. Just let her take out your party members you don't care about, and uh, until you get the ones you do. Although, it must be said, you need to be on top of your healing if you go for this. Because if you do, if you have bad timing, you will lose one of your good people and then you'll be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's not really quite as high as I would prefer. Mm. Let's see. A couple more of these should be fine. You can cast haste on Iravine. Who will then use Doom Train? And then I can start hitting her for real. Then we can get this fight going for real. Uh, having said that, important thing for me to point out, uh, I hope I'm immune to that. Not poisoned. That's good. So, uh, Ultimacy over there is, is not only immune, but actually absorbs most elements. The core three for sure, and I want to say that she absorbs... I don't think she absorbs holy. We're, we're gonna probably find that out before the end of the battle. Uh, but she, I want to, pretty sure she does also absorb wind and earth. Uh, I'm not sure about water either. But, we need, my point is, we need to be very careful about what magic we use against her. Oh, I guess she did. She also, uh, she didn't absorb that, but, uh, hmm. I could have sworn she absorbed poison as well. That's weird. Whatever. Apparently, not a big deal. This is a little annoying. But, hey, limit break. Free limit breaks are good. Yeah, that's... Hmm. That was a lot of damage. The most powerful GF. You shall... Suffer! The most powerful GF. Is Griever. It, which, if you'll recall, is the name of of uh, Squall's lion. Just an uh, interesting little thing there. Oh, I got an Invincible Moon. Yes! We are going to destroy Griever. But again, we'll have to be careful. You should actually use Doom Train again.
Reaper may be the most powerful GF, but he is not a suplexing dog. And really, what can compete with that? <laughs> I took my hand off my controller to drink tea. The GS true power. Allow me to show you. Reaver, make them bleed. Uh, so it's I. Hmm. We're in the next stage of the fight. I think. I mean, we're invincible, so this isn't gonna hurt us. But I'm trying to remember what it actually does. It might be just a screw you attack. Or it might be a percentage attack that puts you to almost dead. Either way, I didn't really need to worry about it. But, uh... Yeah. I shall junction myself. Unto Griever! You know, I can't... I, I know the game says that, but I feel like that's probably a mistranslation. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. At least that makes more sense to me. Well, admittedly, that does still quite look... Maybe, well, maybe she did junction herself into Griever. I don't know. It's weird. Did I even get off Doom Train? Nope. This one has the elemental magic, but at this point, it will absorb these, so do not cast them at it. On the other hand, am I still invincible? Because I can use these to heal myself. Hmm. Something to consider. Well... Yeah. Oh, I guess it's just immune to them now. Hmm. Because it was definitely- oh! Custom animation! It was definitely- Griever here was definitely immune to the Doom Train there. Uh, the physical attack, not the status effect, fortunately. And one lean heart, and then it's gone. So here's the thing. Had I not been knocked into a good state for spamming limit breaks, what I would have done is... Is I would have cast Aura with Renoa, and then I would have used one of, uh... Well, I'll show you in a moment. There we are. And I would have used one of these things, which have the same effect. I believe Hero Trial is a single target. I mean, to be clear, I would have used Aura, and then I would have used one of those once I was in critical state. And I would have, not only would I have been spamming limit breaks, I would have also been getting Lionheart every time. So, it looks like we've done it. We've beaten Griever. But perhaps the fight's not quite yet over.
the final Ultimessia. Ultimessia on the verge of achieving time compression. The... Yeah. Yeah. Doom Train one final time. Uh, cause yeah, she's gonna absorb with the possible exception of Holy all elements now. Uh, but I can draw Holy and Flare from her. Uh, oh. Huh. Hmm. Can I do something about that? No. I guess I'm not using Doom Train then. Let's let's do this. Oh shit. Uh hmm. You do that. You might need to Yeah. Wait, did I get Invincible Moon? Nope, that's not Invincible Moon. Uh we are gonna use a Mega Lexer. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was worth it. I won't be able to do the limit break spam this way. At least not as easily. But it's much, much safer. Let's, uh, let's just confirm this, because I'm actually, I'm genuinely not sure if it will work. Incidentally, it's worth noting. Oh, I guess She's vulnerable to that. Uh. Oh yeah, she does. She does that as well. She just got rid of some of my junction magic, which sucks. But I'm still gonna spam one breaks. So, yeah, jokes on her, really. Pulse ammo. That didn't do my. I guess I lost all my ultima. So. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. Ultima is just gone. And I had Ultima Junction to my magic stat on Renoa, so it kind of sucks. Wait, there's two of them? Oh, well, I've killed the top. Hmm. Did I just win? Or... No, I don't think so. Mega Potion. Yeah, okay. So, the thing is... The dialogue she says is actually sort of a timer. You can only deal so much damage to her for, between each thing. Each dialogue sequence. Uh, so the situation I seem to be in... 
is where I'm literally sort of waiting for her to finish talking. Now, I didn't heal a whole lot. Okay, yeah. Irvine, you know... You, you do it. Bio is gone is fine. That is what the medicine ability was for, or whatever it's called. I haven't seen this one. <laughs> that is terrific. Is it over? Let's go. Let's go back to our time. Shut up! Just calm down and think where we have to go! Careful guys, don't pick the wrong time. Whatever you do, don't fall into a time warp. Time, place, who I want to be with. I want to go there, where Skull and I promised. Squall! Well, let's go home. Where are you? Where am I? Where are you going? Squall! I'm gonna find Sis. Squall! Excuse me, have you seen a little boy? You don't have to worry. The boy won't go anywhere. I think so too. Poor thing. You're alive? The sorceress? Yes, Matron. We have to defeat her. Matron, stand back. 
It's okay. There's no more need to fight. That source is just looking for someone to pass her powers on to. In order to die in peace, a sorceress must free herself of all her powers. I shall take over that sorceress's powers. I do not want one of the children to become one. I can't disappear yet. You called me a matron. Who are you? A seed. A seed from Blenheim Garden. Seed? Garden? Both garden and seed were your ideas. Garden trains seeds. Seeds are trained to defeat the sorceress. What are you saying? You're that boy from the future? Matron, please return. You do not belong here. I can't find Sis. Am I all alone? Who's he? Nobody. You don't need to know. The only squall permitted here is you. Do you know where to go back to? Do you know how? Will you be alright by yourself? I'll be alright, matron. Because I'm not alone. I'm not alone. If I call out, they will answer. Where is everyone? Renoa! Cell! Selfie! Quistus! Irvine! Renoa! Am I... Alone? I want to hear your voice. Which way do I go? I can't make it back alone. Renoa? Am I all alone again? Where am I? The barren wastes of time. Squall wanders. Remember, it was the bonds between themselves that they needed to bring themselves th safely through time. By himself, Squall just can't do it.
Uh, Renola too was worried that she wouldn't be close enough to the others. But I think she did make it back. She's just waiting for Cloud. Cloud, no. Squall. It's the wrong game. We're in the last episode! And I got the damn name wrong! But, remember, Squall has been using the GFs more than anyone else. They've claimed his memory. At least that's my interpretation. That was alarming for a second there, but no, uh, we're still we're still on track. It looks like, and Renault has appeared. Okay, so I'm gonna just that's. I wish that was a little, a little bit quieter, maybe. Man, you know what? This is gonna get marked it, marked anyway. <laughs> Let's just watch. I have things that I want to say about what just happened here, but I want to wait until the credits start playing. <laughs> but uh, Renault and Squall managed to make their way to the same place. After all, I think it was a very near thing there, though. Oh well. She is a sorceress. Cypher's back in Blam, fishing. With Fujin and Raijin, who appear to be better fishermen than him. <laughs> Those two are great. 
And Cypher is a lot better with them, I think. He let himself be corrupted by the sorceress, but in the end, he met with the help of his friends. He managed to find some peace. Old Laguna, still the coolest guy in the sh That's a wedding ring. Hmm. Oh, young Laguna. And Rain. Laguna and Elaine as well in the cab or that he couldn't stay together with Rain. Okay, now, I want to talk about a couple of things there from the end, then we'll talk about the game in general, but... Right, oh yeah, we have a couple more videos of Selfie, by the way. This is going to be fun things. Uh, <laughs> but, no. Okay, so, my interpretation of that ending sequence is that... Um, is that Squall almost got pulled into the, the ravages of time. The combination of the toll the battles took on him, the tolls of traveling through time itself, on his own no less, and the damage the GFs did to his mind made it so that he almost couldn't make it back to, the, to his timeline. But in the end, his connection to Renoa was still strong enough that she could pull him there. She herself had a strong enough connection to the rest of the group to make it back, if only just. Uh, but because she was there to help, Squall managed to return to his own timeline. Now, as for the Laguna part, there's something I've sort of hinted at, and the game does everything but explicitly says, with Laguna and Rain and Squall. Laguna or rather, Squall, was sent to the orphanage right around the time Rain died. And he was sent with Alone. And he was the closest of all the orphan in orphans to Alone. Um, the implication here, the, the subtext so thick it is almost text, hey, there's Selfie wearing Irvine's hat, by the way, that's cute, um, is that Squall is the son of Rain and Laguna. 
Probably Laguna didn't... Okay, this is the accumulation of a joke throughout the whole game that we've sort of been ignoring. Uh, where every time anything happens in the cafeteria, Zell is trying to get those things. <laughs> but... Uh, the implication to me is that uh, Laguna didn't know about Squall. Laguna left before Squall was born. And Rain, I think, probably didn't tell him, or maybe didn't know herself. But Squall was born, and then Laguna, and then Rain died. Rain, uh, and then Squall became an orphan, and that's sort of what happened there. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk this- let's talk the game a little bit. I had a lot of fun doing this! Uh... Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. I actually really like the plot in this game, weak though it is, and the gameplay, well... It's not that I think the gameplay is particularly strong, but I personally enjoy it just because it is so- You can break it so... comprehensively. Like... That final boss was a cakewalk, and that and Ultimessia, especially her final form, is broken as shit. She takes primary mechanics of the game, the GFs and the spells and the junction system, and she just pisses right all over them. With attacks that instantly negate certain spells and GFs. Where if you get unlucky, you're just screwed. It doesn't matter how overpowered you are. Uh but but, but even still. I, re I really enjoy- for all its flaws, I really enjoy the gameplay of this, just because of the- because I like the crunch, if not the grind. It's sort of a shame that they didn't do more with it, though. Like, I feel- it definitely could have used a few more passes of refinement to fix its most glaring issues, and I don't think it they ever really came back to it. Hmm. Something to think about, I suppose. A lot of people don't really like the story of 8, and it does have some holes in it, and... But... I really do enjoy it. It is, at its heart, sort of a love story about Squall and, and Renoa, which is sort of part of the flaw, because if you don't have Renoa with Squall, then you don't see a lot of that story. But it's there, and I very much like it. Although it does... Although maybe there is something to be said for Laguna being the best character. Uh, and, but, but you're only spending a small amount of time with him. That's probably something else they could have worked on. But uh, in terms of the playing it, it was a lot of fun. It was still, it was a lot of fun to produce it. Uh, and sort of in a transitionary time, especially towards the end of it. Like, I've been streaming more often lately, and I'm honestly not sh I'm not going to stop posting things to YouTube, but this might- this is very well might be the last Let's Play I produce in this manner. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'll, I'll go from here. Like, I'm still going to be streaming stuff, I'm still going to post things to YouTube, and I'm still probably going to make more Let's Plays, but I'm probably not going to make let's, more Let's Plays where I just do a bunch of video- where I just queue a lot of videos and then post them in sequence like I did here and like I've done for uh, most of the other ones on my channel. It'll be very, I'll be, it'll be very interesting to see where I go from here. Um, the end. Last thing to say though, before we leave off, next LP, it, there's going to be a little bit of a break after Final Fantasy VIII. There will be a next LP, but I haven't quite decided what it is. It's it's my not Final Fantasy turn. I have a few different things that I have in mind for it. Uh, Battle Network 2 is a, a possibility, but there are a few other games I'm looking at, and I am thinking of doing a blind one as well. Uh, we'll see how it works out. But, and, but uh, that is for the future. For now... For the final time, for this LP anyway, for Final Fantasy VIII, this has been Chaos Blue with 
let's play Final Fantasy VIII. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.